A migraine is a strong and painful headache, and for some, it can truly interfere with daily living. One woman shares her experiences with migraines and the various treatments that she's undergone to help. For years, Lisa Dunn has seen neurologist Dr. Melvin Helm to treat her migraines. She suffered from them since she was a preteen. Well, it fluctuates as far as frequency, so I've gotten them um, as much as every other week. I really hit a very low point in my life when I had a headache every single day. Mine always is pain behind one eye and it usually will alter uh, back and forth between my eyes and vomiting, nausea, vomiting. Dr. Helm explains the difference between a migraine and a headache. Migraine is a lot more than just having headaches. A migraine comes from the brain. So headache is one symptom that you can have, but you can have also many other neurological symptoms Typically, we call that an aura. According to the American Migraine Foundation, about a quarter of people who experience a migraine will have an aura. Patients often describe flickering lights or zigzag lights, sometimes spots, and typically it travels across the vision over several minutes. And then after that, typically you would have a headache. Migraine typically lasts from one to three days. Technically, the definition of the duration of a migraine is four to 72 hours. So it's not a brief headache. Dr. Helm says people can take over-the-counter NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like acetaminophen or ibuprofen to help relieve their migraine pain. There's also prescription medication that can help. The most commonly used um, medication for treating migraine is called a tryptan, and there's nine different examples of triptans. We've tried any number of cocktails that have been available and I do get Botox injections for migraine and have been doing that for about five years now. Botox is not just used to prevent wrinkles. It prevents the release of proteins from the nerve endings. Those proteins trigger the cascade of, of migraine symptoms. So the idea is we block the release of those proteins and therefore we prevent the migraine. Lisa says the combination of over-the-counter medication, Botox and physical therapy, she's able to fight off migraines regularly and can go back to living her life. It affected every aspect of my life. My kids, my husband, my job, everything. I was very negative and unhappy.